classical music, election, and flips, and more on today's episode of Cat's Eye News. This is Neil A.M. In case you missed it, something historically and culturally significant happened this past Tuesday on November 5th. I'm of course talking about the Scottish Zoo that launched a cuteness contest between Haggis, its new pygmy hippo, and Mu Deng from Thailand. I'm kidding. As much as I would love to do an entire segment on baby hippos or baby birds, the presidency takes precedent. On Wednesday, November 6th at 5.34 a.m., the Associated Press declared Republican former President Donald Trump as the winner of the 2024 election. He is now the president-elect along with Ohio Senator James David Vance, who is now the vice president-elect. Both of them will be sworn in on Inauguration Day, which is January 20th, 2025. Trump won Michigan with 49.8% against Harris's 48.3%. Other candidates like Jill Stein, Robert Kennedy, Chase Oliver, Cornell West, Randall Terry, and Joseph Kishore won less than 1%. Democrat Alyssa Slotkin won the U.S. Senate seat in Michigan by 48.6% of the vote against Republican Mike Rogers' 48.4%. Yes, that's a 0.2% difference. Democrat Gary Peters still holds the second Michigan senator position. Michigan has 13 seats in the House of Representatives. All of them are re-elected every two years. The Republicans now have seven of those seats, while Democrats have six. Governor Gretchen Whitmer was not up for re-election this year and continues to serve as the governor of Michigan. In Novi, incumbent Mary Ann Roney won the school board position with 8,000 votes and Jamie Klebert won the second position with 7,800 votes. The Oakland County Parks and Recreation mileage was passed with more than 21,000 votes. And that wraps up the 2024 election. With a lot more to come, that's it for today. Good day. What is up, Novi? Do you want to make clay keychains? Well, come join FIDM on November 7th in room 168 and bring $2. It's first come, first serve, so hurry up. What's up, Wildcats? Do you want to learn about some lesser-known classical composers and listen to some of their pieces? Well, then you should come on down to Classical Music Interest Group. They'll be having their third meeting on Wednesday, November 13th in room 142. You can also enjoy some cupcakes for just a dollar. See you there, Wildcats. Hey, Wildcats. Competitive cheer tryouts are next week, November 11th through 15th, from 4.30 to 6.30 in Fieldhouse C. Go check the Nova Cheer Instagram for information on what to wear. And if you have any questions or concerns, please email Coach Brianna Cummings at this email. Hope to see you there. Hey Wildcats, if you want to do some escape room and get some prizes like crumble cookies, then you should go to the TED meeting today. It's going to be at the forum. See you there. What is up, Novi? Do you want to compose like Beethoven? If so, join Novi Music Production on Friday, November 8th in room 245. What's up, Novi? Did you guys enjoy Halloween last week? Well, we're going to take a look at what some of you guys wore. So first, we got the Scooby-Doo gang. I see the dog right there. I don't know what he's called, but... Rusei, that's Scooby-Doo. Right. Oh, my bad. Oh, we got Winnie the Pooh. Yep. All right, this is a Chick-fil-A worker, my pleasure. Now we got Deadpool and Creeper. We got a cowgirl. Oh, that looks like Snow White. Oh, uh, is that Electro Man? All right, so this is two witches. Uh, we got an Instagram post of my brother Waluigi and Wario. We got Tebow from iCarly. Yeah. So it looks like a princess with a clown. I mean, last week. Is that a carrot or a pumpkin though? I don't know, it looks like an alien over there. Uh, oh, is that the same Winnie the Pooh game oh, from earlier? No, that's not, that's not. That's the cowgirls? This guy looks like he's really enjoying his time. And then that's another party going on with the witches. All right, Nova, that's it. See you next week. Hi, I'm Christian and I'm here with... Mrs. James. Hi, Mrs. James, what do you teach here at Nova? I teach AP Bio, IB Bio, and Med Careers. And what is your controversial opinion? Meatloaf is disgusting. Hi, I'm Christian, and I'm here with... Superintendent Minka. Hey, Mr. Minka, what is your role here at Nova? 
I'm the superintendent of schools here in the district. And what is your unpopular opinion? Ooh, my unpopular opinion is that um, pajama pants are not appropriate in school. What is up Novi? I'm Ruse and this is our sixth episode of Rides of Novi. Today we have Jackson. So where'd you get this car or when did you get this car? Um, I got it on Facebook Marketplace and I got it for my birthday on April 14th. Any funny stories you have about this car or? Um, one time while I was in Pinckney driving around at night, I was kind of lost. Um, a cop started following me for like a mile. Just no reason. So why do you have a skeleton in the back of your car? Well, it started as just like a little joke for Halloween, getting the spirit, and then I kind of just like left him there for two weeks. <laughs> I gave him a bandana and some, some sunglasses. I'll show you guys the trunk now. So if you come over here, we'll look at my Instagram first. <laughs> then if you come and open the door, trunk latch. So originally, these trunk hydraulic springs, they were dead when I got it. So I had to replace them within like the first week of owning it, if I ever wanted to use the trunk. Hey guys, so this is gonna be our first 10 out of 10 at Rides of Novi within our six episodes. I really like this car, it's very unique. I like the headlights with the flipping thing, it looks like a Miata. This car is probably the best one we had so far in Rides of Novi. Thank you for watching Rides of Novi. This is Ruse, and I'll see you later. Peace. What's up, Wildcats? Do you want your story featured on the Cat's Eye News? Email us at nhscatseyenews at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, Novi, and stay tuned for next episode.